When birds, like humans, get their eight hours sleep, they tend to wake up chirpy. Often they sing kind of on top of each other and they chatter around together. We can hear some different types of songs and different types of syllables, we call them. It's what you expect to hear. Birds use songs for things like communicating about predators or food or also finding mates or even um, protecting a territory. But new research shows their environments are disrupting their sleep and altering their songs especially with things like light pollution and noise pollution. So, uh, or sometimes a really heavy rain or uh, fireworks. They sing fewer songs like this. Within a song, it's still less complex, less types of syllables and less uh, frequency of those syllables. Having their songs being so poor after a, a bad night of sleep can really affect how they might survive or even um, reproduce in the wild. They are more similar to us than you might think. They have the REM sleep and the non-REM sleep, while a lot of other birds only, oh, sorry, a lot of other animals only have non-REM sleep. So because of that, we imagine that sleep for birds have very similar functions than sleep for humans. Although the research looked at minor birds, the findings can tell us more about our native species. We expect that minors are already affected and they are tough, that our native birds are even more affected since they are um, not as well adapted to the city as minors are. Dr Gavaragi Masoy will now explore how minors' new melodies might be affecting other aspects of bird life. Whether that is affecting them later on finding mates or having more or less eggs uh, and whether their babies are lower quality as well. But also we are trying to see whether sleep disturbances when they are young, when they are learning their song, might be affecting then how their adult song looks like. The potential long-term cost of increased light and noise pollution.